Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video that should be really, really helpful if you plan or have ever jailbroken your iPod Touch or iPhone 4. Uh, this program is called Tool Jail, and it is basically an all-in-one tutorial, link, um, just about everything you want short of actually jailbreaking your device. Um, you know, I get tons of questions every day. Uh, can I, I need to jailbreak this, how do I do this, that, that, all kinds of different stuff like that. Um, this program is going to answer a ton of those questions. Basically, it's going to give you a tutorial. Um, all you gotta do is put in some information about your device and it will give you a full tutorial on how to, if you can jailbreak it, and if you can, how to do it, all the steps, what you need, the whole deal. It's very, very select. Anyway, look, guys, let's get this one started. Okay guys, let's get this one started. So to begin with, we just come to the, uh, this link, which is at iHackintosh. Um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and scroll through here. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, but basically, all you need is to come down to the bottom, three links. Um, there's going to be English, Italian, and German. Obviously, you know I'm going to go ahead and get the English one, but if you'd like another language, feel free. So go ahead, just click on it, uh, download it, and, and uh, just put it on your desktop or whatever. And then there's icon should be right here. So go ahead and just open it up. Okay, and the first thing you will see is that it'll kind of tell you that it's not responsible for any damage to your iPod or iPhone. Just hit OK, it's no big deal. Um, so now you're into the program. So there's a few different things you can do. Um, there's home, which is obviously the first thing. There's jailbreak slash tutorials, which is the main feature. I'll get to that in just a second. There are options for DFU mode and recovery mode which is very, very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. So, if you want to go ahead and either need to do it into DFU mode or recovery mode, this will give you a full tutorial show, showing you how to do it. So let's go ahead and just pretend that we have it, and uh, let's say we need to go into DFU mode. So, it will give us a little pop-up. Basically say, disconnect your device, then power it off. Cool. So we go ahead and hit next. And then, once we do, we hit start, and it will give us the timer, you know, to say and hold the home and power. And it will basically actually give us a full tutorial and show us how to do it, uh, and basically hold our hand through it. So that's really, really helpful. It will also tell you guys how to downgrade, which is very helpful because a lot of people, especially, you know, who uh, accidentally, you know, download an earlier version of this firmware, like 3.1.3, a lot of people accidentally did that and want to come back to 3.1.2. So this is going to give you instructions on how to downgrade your specific device. It's really handy. Lastly, we have links. Um, now, the links, all of them are numbered like TJ1, TJ2, etc. And basically, in the tutorial, it will say go to link TJ2 or whatever. And then that will be a link for anything from firmware, um, jailbreaking devices, the whole deal. So definitely very helpful that they included that. But of course, the main thing is going to be the jailbreak tutorials. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. So here you will see that there's a list of a lot of different things such as device, firmware, everything like that. Okay, so let's just do something random. Let's do uh, an iPhone 3G. Just show you it for an example. Just click it and let's go through here and pick a uh, locked iPhone 3G. Okay, so pick the firmware. Um, it's either 3.1.2, 3.1.3. Um, now one thing is it's kind of it doesn't break down into if you have an earlier firmware. Hopefully you should be running either 3.1.2 or 3.1.3. You should keep it updated, but uh, it's not a big deal. So let's just say we're on 3.1.3. Now it's going to ask iBoot, but that's only for the 3GS, so it's not going to apply. It's going to ask for the model, and it's going to ask if it's an MB or an MC model. That only applies to iPod Touch second generation, so for this example we don't need either of those. Uh, now we can go down here, and again, it's the uh, SHSH file. Um, if you have an iPhone 3GS, uh, you would you you may or may not have that stored with Cydia. Again, this is a 3G, so no big deal. Lastly, we just pick the operating system we're running on. So for this example, I'm running Windows. So then we just click search, and it says well, you can do the jailbreak. So then you just click start the tutorial. Now it will give us a little pop-up saying it's impossible to unlock the baseband. So it will just it, so it basically is just telling you that it will not going to tell you how to unlock just jailbreak. So no big deal. So now we have it. So it's really simple. It'll basically say download 3.1.2, uh, download Red Snow, and go through, and it just goes through the whole deal. And now I haven't tried all these yet, but every one I've seen seems to be really accurate. 
Um, and of course, if you still need more help or you're curious, you can always come look up one of my videos or one of somebody else's videos, and it'll definitely walk you through it. So anyway, guys, that is a very, very cool thing called Tool Jail. Um, it really should help because Apple's got this so mixed up where there's a ton of different different uh, firmwares, devices. It's, it's a really confusing situation. So use Tool Jail. Just make sure that you put all the information correct, and it will give you the perfect tutorial. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.